Hey guys, so this is a animation of that song, uh, Red Flags. You know, the, I try to get the waiter's attention by blinking Morse, that one. Uh, this is Robin Zuper, or Robin Z. Um, and it's a has-been hotel kind of animation with Loot and Adam, because quite frankly, Loot and Adam's relationship is completely messed up. How they, I mean, Loot is completely devoted to the guy. But I don't know if it's been confirmed by Viv if they're in a relationship. But you know, we'll we'll talk more about them afterwards. But um, because I, it's such a stupid song. I mean, stupid. It's good, but it's stupid because I mean, you'll and you know. But it it really dives into the whole Adam character, and you know, because you know, for certain things and that scene here but um anyway the day started off so well begin my night not expecting the fright of my life she was perfect from what i could tell how could i not see the danger right in front of me my favorite food is fish baby that's my favorite too i love cutting dogs baby I love the fact that he's calling his dad. The first thing he does is like, okay, this is getting weird. Dad, dad, please pick up. Please pick up. He does not want to be there with her anymore. But don't worry. It gets... He starts to finally open up. That's a red flag. I don't want to get stabbed. She said, I think, holy shit, I'm gonna be... To get the waiter's attention by blinking in Morse code. That's why I had blinking so much. I've got something in my eye. Here, let me get it out. No, thank you. I don't want to die. Bonjour. Sir was blinking at me. Is this because your date is a freak? No. Very good then. Bon appetit. Stop hiding behind your silly date of red flags. And not take a chance on the best relationship you've never had. Maybe you're right and I'm looking for excuses. My heart's got bruises, but I'm ready to choose this life. You can be my love, oh my life. One day we'll get married and be husband and wife. With a tasteful ceremony and the wedding of our dreams. And then we've got we got Charlie right there. We got Nifty. Uh, Cause spoiler alert, episode eight, Adam dies. But the the, the relationship with Adam and and uh, Loot is just weird. Um. Also, Adam is his design. He's a pretty good looking guy. You know, I I, I don't think those the, the robe that he wears does him any justice. Because he's he's really a good looking guy. I mean, he was his character, the the visual. He's based off Alex Brightman, the guy who does the voice for him. And he's a good looking guy, you know. I mean, he's a first man. I guess he would have to be, right? But um, I love that shot with uh, him holding up uh, the 
and kind of you see how loot actually is. Um, loot's fucking crazy. I mean, one of the <laughs> one of the best parts is in episode eight when he's like, "Extermination day is here, bitches! You're gonna go down and exterminate demon ass." And loot's like, "Destroy that ass!" And he's all like, "You remember Vaggy?" And um, loot was like, "Rip Vaggy's cunt mouth out her ass!" And he's like, "Can you chill? Just like." chill loot fuck um even that's too much for him um but just the, the the interaction between those two they they appear to have some kind of shield sir oh really i didn't notice a giant fucking shield in front of me you dumb bitch no shit um <laughs> when at uh when when charlie and vaggy uh go to heaven and uh adam sees them and he's like holy fucking shit boss um and he starts talking about I was like oh i'm gonna take care of those right now and she's like really right in front of the promenade in front of everyone um and he talks about extermination and he she's like shh you know and he's like what did the you know what did seraphim tell you and you know he's like oh only the no only no one but the extermin uh ex exorcist can know about extermination i get it he's like don't fucking shush me bitch so it's it's such a weird relationship, but the fact that uh also I like that. Um <laughs> calling his dad. Yeah, that's what people seem to think that uh God is gonna look even though Viv has said God's not gonna show up. He's there, he's just not gonna show up. Because there's no reason for him to. But like a, a top hat with like four eyes or so floating around it and like this nice big smile. That's kind of what the fans want to interpret God as. Um, how she says that the centipede is a tour de France. The fact that Alistair is the busboy. Who needs the busboy now that you got the chef? Michelin tasting menu free a la carte. Um, I mean, she's crazy. She's crazy. <laughs> Hot as fuck, though. According, you know, those are Adam's words. Not about, not about loot. They were talking, to, he was talking about um, Charlie and Vaggy, you know, and it's like, you know, and then you managed to bag Lilith's little hottie. Congrats on you, I guess. And she's like, their love is, you know, their uh, love is vile and blasphemous. And he's like, it's hot as fuck, though. I mean, he's not wrong. It's not really hot. It's more sweet. Especially the, the more than anything reprise. It's sweet. And when they kiss, it's like, it's about fucking time. I've waited eight episodes to see this shit. It's like, not once did they express real love towards each other, even though they'd been together for a while. But, yeah, they, it's just... I love Loot because she's so alluring, but she's fucking crazy. I mean, this is, like, she's an angel, and this is the kind of chick who in, who'd be into kinky shit. She'd be like, yeah, bitch, rip my fucking wings off. And you're like, what? You know, she's got her fucking mask on or something with the horns, and she wants you to hold her by the horns. She's like, yeah, rip my fucking wings off. And you're like, okay, I'm done. I'm done. I, I, uh, chill, loop, fuck. <laughs> Um, but this is the part that mainly because it, it, it's kind of true for Adam because again I, I don't know what kind of relationship they have but you have Lilith and Eve so God creates from the dirt God creates Adam right from that same dirt God creates Lilith to be his partner is equal we don't know how long Lilith and Adam were together but for whatever reason apparently you know she not wanting to be subservient to him you know, because as the first man, knowing that everyone is going to be descended from your nuts, uh, kind of gives him an ego trip. But she decides to leave at some point. She meets Lucifer. So God creates from his rib. He creates Eve to be his partner to, you know. And then Lucifer and Lilith come along and Lucifer is like, hey, I bet you don't like living under the scrutiny of heaven. Telling, telling you what you can and can't do. Do you want true freedom? You want to be able to answer, you know, any question that you have. You know, all these doors will open up and all you got to do is just take a bite. And she's like, okay. So also to Adam's credit, he did resist temptation, which is one reason why he got into heaven. Not only because he was 
God's first creation on earth. But he did resist the, that temptation, regardless of what he was like, being a douchebag. Eve was the one who gave in. He didn't eat the he didn't eat the fruit of knowledge. So kudos to him for having that kind of willpower. But you know, he gets to heaven and he, you know, he's talking to Charlie. He's like, yeah, and then we fucked and it was awesome. So after Lilith and Eve, he apparently just kind of had flings. You know, he was just like the typical fuck boy. Um, while Eve and don't know what happened to her, but Lilith was with Lucifer forming hell, establishing what we now know as hell down there, uh, having Charlie and having a happy family for some time, not fully she got tired of lucifer's bullshit with his depression uh and she left um but we know that lucifer wasn't a bad person i'm like hell he still wears his freaking wedding ring so i mean he's not a bad person it's like but 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 in the episode he said about uh, adam's first wife and second and he made it he implied that he he had sex with eve no he said uh the quote was well your first wife didn't hate what i had to offer or your second, offering a relationship to Lilith and offering the fruit of knowledge to Eve. So he offered two separate things to both of his wives. The whole bow, chicka, bow, wow, that's just taking advantage of Adam's insecurity with the whole situation because despite the fact that he is a douche nozzle, uh, you know, he did have two women created for him and they both left him in one way or another. So. You know, Lucifer was just being Lucifer. He's being dopey and playful and also hitting it where, it, you know, hitting Adam where it hurts. Um, so, no, he didn't have a relationship with Eve, but he did offer the fruit of knowledge to her, which caused her to be cast down. But, um, yeah, and then for whatever, we, we don't know how much time passed, and then uh, Lute becomes his lieutenant, and she kind of, she clearly loves him. You know, when, when, when after Nifty stabs him just repeatedly, she flies over. First she says, sir, and then she yells at him, you know, and so she, she not only that, but when he turns, she, she turns him over, she, he sees her and he smiles. And at first I was like, when the first time I saw it, I was like, oh, you know, maybe he's accepting this death that maybe despite this persona that he put, puts on that he was really just really unhappy and miserable and he just kind of wanted it to end but no it's because he was happy to see her because she was one person who cared about him who didn't leave who was devoted to him so when he you know she screamed at him you know he he's able to die knowing that hey someone did care about me you know regardless of my flaws and the fight that i'm you know the fact that i'm this terrible person someone cared about me enough to stick by my side to look where we are look look at what's happening she's stuck by my side she didn't leave me for someone else she didn't eat some forbidden fruit and you know she stayed by my side um so also does anyone else think this looks like peanut butter gamer It looks like peanut butter gamer. Um, but the uh, yeah, it, it's just a weird. Like I, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. Or maybe it's the other way around. Maybe she's the one who likes the pain. Again, I I, I imagine her saying stupid crap like "rip my wings off," you know. I mean, because obviously. Adam is still having sex up there. I mean, he outright says, you know, about the girl, and and and, and then we fucked, and it was awesome. And he's like, so what did you? So what did you do this weekend? So it was clearly recent. So he's still fucking around with people. So, I mean, <laughs> awesome job, danger tits. Pound it. Um, I love the fact that he calls her danger tits. I mean, come on. This guy is such a douchebag. But he's great. And that's the problem with his character. It's like you want to hate him, but then you kind of understand where he's coming from. You know? And then, yeah. And then Charlie and 
whoever is right there, but then Nifty just. Whoa. Holy shit. You got something sticking out of your, 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 your thing there. <laughs> was slain by a filthy janitor. He was reported saying, quote, Charlie told me to stab, so I did. I mean, she also in that same episode, uh, Charlie tells Nifty to stab any angel she sees, and she immediately goes after Angel. It's like, no, Nifty, not that angel. Um, yeah, but this chick is crazy. I'm like, she freaking, she's fighting Vaggy. She gets, you know, trapped under rubble. And instead of just laying there, she like rips her freaking arm off to get to escape it. She's insane. She's fucking insane. And yet she is probably the best one for Adam. The best one for him because she's so crazy. But she puts up with his bull crap. He's able to somehow put up with hers. And she's not going to leave him. Kind of makes me wonder what happens after he died. Is he going to end up in hell? I mean, because he kind of was a bad person. I mean, is he going to get sent to hell? Or once you get stabbed by an exorcist's blade, do you just kind of like cease to exist after you die? But that would be great, seeing Adam come back. You know, actually, I made a theory about that, but. Um, yeah, just a great, it's a stupid song, but it's great. Um, the fact that it's Loot and Adam, even better, because again, they're such a weird couple. I don't know if Viv has confirmed if they're a couple or not, but they're just so perfect together. You know, so perfect together. So, but, um, and how passionate she is about human centipede. <laughs> Just. Anyway. Yeah, I just, I saw it and I, I thought it was cool. But again, it's um Robin Zuper. Um, but Red Flags, it has like an actual video. Like, uh, kind of like a, they're in the, the guy singing it with whoever in like their in the room like it looks like a living room but then there's another more well-known animated video but i saw this and i was like yeah i'll watch this one because i mean loot and adam come on come on a match made in heaven uh -huh. ah. anyway that's gonna do it for me you guys know the drill i'll see you guys later bye guys